As schools across West Michigan head back to class, you'll see more and more school bus traffic on the roads. But one thing that's been an issue over the last few years is a shortage of bus drivers. It's really plagued many local West Michigan districts. This year, though, many districts we checked in with tell us things are looking up. Right. It's a big job. Driving a 40 foot vehicle carrying dozens of kids. Our drivers go way above and beyond. Including this driver, Doug Brashler. He's gearing up for a safe school year as a bus driver at Hamilton Community Schools. Super excited, super excited. But Mr. Brashler is no ordinary bus driver. As students board his bus this fall, they might just recognize him. I started in Hamilton in 1983 as a math teacher and a football baseball coach. And then I was athletic director for seven years assistant principal for four years and high school principal for 11 years for a total of 32 years in the district. After leaving Hamilton schools years ago and spending time at Hope College, this educator turned driver now helping to give back to his community. There are districts that need it. And so I did a little bit of research, found out that Hamilton uh, is in dire need of bus drivers. Get it. Luckily this year, school officials say the shortage is getting better. Transportation department leaders at Hamilton Community Schools say they do have a few positions still open, including full-time and substitute bus driver jobs. Their current high school principal, Mitch Bosch, also pitching in. He's now trained up and will substitute when he can. Our drivers already do a lot, and we ask a lot because we try to have more experiences for kids to be a part of. The best thing that I can do is try to be there to help at least alleviate some of that stress. Hamilton joins many districts we've checked in with across West Michigan that report the shortage is getting better for them. Wreaths Puffer Schools leaders say all of their routes are filled and they even have field trip drivers. Muskegon Public Schools leaders also say they're looking pretty good when it comes to bus drivers. As for one of the larger districts, Grand Rapids Public Schools, things seem to be looking up. Staffing is much better this year, um, a lot better. Still not where it needs to be. We're still short a few people. Dean Transportation is contracted to run GRPS's school bus routes. And Kent County Regional Operations Manager Kevin Harkness says in the last several years, they've been going into school years 30 drivers short. But this year, he says they're about 12 to 13 drivers short, but says they'll still be able to cover all runs with their staff and substitute pool. It's been a big improvement. We still need to hire folks. We're still doing hiring events. We're still doing all of that stuff. And we do have people coming in. There are some districts that are having still some struggles. The Michigan Association for Pupil Transport keeps track of things like the school bus driver shortage statewide. While Executive Director Katrina Morris says things are improving across the state, there are still some issues. However, she says they're starting to see a shift in the shortage as the importance of the role of a bus driver comes to light. We really are considered and we are considered that part of that safety sensitive position in that district. We are being held to a higher standard. I think that once you see that, we are starting to see that shift. It's going to take some time because we didn't get here overnight. A long process of filling a critical shortage, seemingly making headway as West Michigan schools head back to class. While many districts are reporting the shortage is getting better, we know that may not be the case for all districts. So we have a link to Dean Transportation job postings on our website. If you don't live in an area served by Dean Transportation, you can likely find job postings on your school district's website that is close to you.